Hello and thank you for joining us. Don't let idle hands get the best of you over winter break. Time off is some of the most fruitful for ideas and plans for the future to take shape. We're excited to have back Catherine Brooks, founder of She's Her Own CEO, to talk about using your free time wisely that could potentially change your life forever. Thank you so much for coming back, Catherine. Thanks for having me, Layla. Okay, so yeah. you are the perfect example of huh. someone who doesn't waste any time. I think every moment of every day is you used wisely. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no matter what business you're in, if you're a college student or an entrepreneur, I think using time wisely is always important. Yeah, and for those young, hopeful entrepreneurs yes. who are still in college, they've got winter break, yes. they shouldn't get lazy and become couch potatoes. They can use that time for something useful. That is so true. And if you're someone with high aspirations, let's say, let's say you're a college senior, um, you know, it's it's probably been a stressful semester for you. Yeah. And if you're traveling home, you know, there's travel time involved. You want to catch up with your friends and family. But, you know, maybe you don't want to spend every single waking day, you know, for three weeks plus, you know, just socializing or whatnot. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's really good to, to take some of that as me time. And yeah. when I say me time, I mean preparing for your future, like you just said. Right, exactly. It's easy to slip into that when yes. you start waking up late. <laughs> you have to give yourself a schedule, yes. right? Because I know myself very well, yeah. and that's what I tend to do. I will sleep in, I'll go to bed late, <laughs> yeah. you do the fun stuff, yeah. but this is the perfect opportunity to really buckle down yes. and to think beyond your finals before you graduate. So true. So yeah. definitely catch up, rest and relax. You yeah. know, that's so important too. You know, balance is, is everything mm -hmm. and that's such a big topic right now. Right. Um, but yeah, put, put your waking hours to good use and the time to start is now. Yeah. So, you know, before the semester ends or just as the semester is ending, you know, think about now what maybe you want to accomplish over that three week, four week break. So what should people do? Should they just start yeah. thinking about ideas, writing them down? What, yeah. what do you recommend? So I think we've talked about this before. I'm a big proponent of these little yes. journals mm -hmm. or uh, diaries, I guess you could call them. They're just blank pages. You can go to any kind of discount store, and I mm -hmm. think this one was $4.99. Not bad. Um, and I knew I was coming to Charleston, so I, I picked know, I was the pineapple. <laughs> The detail of this girl, oh my goodness, um, <laughs> you so, were prepared. So, oh gosh, now this does not replace my iPad calendar or iCal or Google, Cal, you know, it doesn't mm -hmm. replace any of that. This is basically just a, a data capture, mm -hmm. you know, as I go through my day or even when I was in college, just capture interactions with people, maybe a speaker that you, you witnessed or maybe interacted with, yeah. you know, things and ideas maybe you want to pursue, but you're kind of busy right now with finals. Yeah, and also to write something down. Yes. There's a whole other process to writing something so as opposed right. to typing it up. You're and also so right. using, you know, just shorthand, like little words here and there. Yes. When you write it out, it, the ideas tend to stick, it seems. You're, you're so true. Yeah. It's, I think they say writing things down, if you can write something or if you can teach something or mm -hmm. speak to something, that really shows mastery of a topic. So yes. I use these types of books and I've filled many of them. And and, and they don't have to be perfection, you know, it's just your notes, your, your thoughts and yeah. ideas. Well, let's talk about yeah. you personally because, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you, you do it all. Uh, you work for a Fortune 100 company. You've started your own business. You help others also start their own yeah. business. Um, were you always like this? <laughs> yeah, well, my mom would say probably yes. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm happy that I'm both right and left brain and, and I've use that to my advantage as much as possible. So I studied business, um, undergraduate and graduate. I have an MBA, but I also have a minor in music performance. So I, when I was in college, I taught music lessons and I did some performing of, you know, with weddings and whatnot for classical music performances. So I've always had some kind of side um, entrepreneurship kind of thing. I also worked at department stores, you know, I did the, the part-time job as well, mm -hmm. but, right. um, you know, as I've, I've moved into this section, um, you know, this is much more of a <laughs> semi-full-time business now. Right, so. and I have to ask, yeah. what did you play? Classical flute. Flute, yes. oh my goodness. Uh, orchestral and Yes, do you still music. do it? Not as much as I used to. Yeah, I know, uh, don't, you don't have don't any time. time. <laughs> but maybe maybe in the future we'll come back to it. But, sure. And I yeah. think you do too, don't you? No, you I used to dance. Or? I used to do ballet, but you know, that oh, you age wonderful. out of very rapidly. So no, I'm not gonna put my point shoes on anytime soon. Oh goodness. Um, no, but I think it's remarkable for someone who does not waste any time because as we always say, life is short, yeah. right? Yeah. Life is short, so make the most of it. You certainly make the most of it. Um, now, we're going to be talking about something a little bit yeah. different coming up in the next block, so we need yeah. to take a break, but when we come back, we're going to continue our discussion with Catherine, so stick with us.
We're back with Catherine Brooks, founder of She's Her Own CEO, who also works for a Fortune 100 company and is coming out with a book next year. Talk about keeping busy and making the most of your time. For business owners during the last part of the year, things can get quite stressful. So, so with those entrepreneur minds and those people who are yeah. trying to make things happen, the last few months of the year are incredibly busy. Yes. How do you keep it a stress-free time? I'm going to give this tip. This is something that works for me personally. It may not work for, for others. I tend to plan my next day's events the night before. Um, a lot of people like to get up in the morning, kind of, you know, decide what they're going to wear on the spot and whatnot. I, I like to, even if it's staying up a little bit extra time at night, I do. And, and these journals, this is my time to journal and to kind of think about, you know, what's the email I want to send tomorrow? Who do I need? Um, you know, to give some lead time to, to get what I want a month out. Mm -hmm. So prepare the night before. So I, I tend to naturally stay up late just as a matter of business, but right. um, build that time in, build think, that quiet time. I, I think a lot of people, they just tend to get overwhelmed. Yeah. And so they feel like they can never catch up or they're going to yes. be staying up until three o'clock in the morning yeah. if, they, if they do that. So, so by really managing your time from the get-go, yes. you're going to eliminate Yes. Or that if you have an email you want to send, go yes. ahead and draft it. Mm -hmm. Save it in your draft folder. I do that all the time. And yeah. wait till 8 a.m. the next morning so it's not looking like you're sending 3 a.m. emails. I've got but. so much to learn. <laughs> I have so much to learn. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's a, that's a recipe for success because yeah. then you're on top of your business, yes. right? Yes. Um, so what do you think are some of the things that people don't do enough of that yeah. should be doing more of? So. One, one thing I, I like to talk about is um, intellectual curiosity and creativity. So take something as mundane as maybe going to the grocery store or you know just running errands. And you, you probably know, there's things that I'll just say annoy you. Um, you know, maybe you know, the grocery store isn't stocked properly or maybe some service associate doesn't treat you the way you want to be treated. Think about all those things yeah. during your normal experiences and make sure that your business is reflecting those things. Mm -hmm. So I know it's, it's annoying for me when you place an order online and you don't get that confirmation email or maybe it's delayed or whatever. Yeah. Make sure that as you ship out your orders or you receive orders, you're you're acknowledging your customer. So think like a customer right. or a client. You yeah, know? that's a very good, very good tip. Also, I'm the daughter of an entrepreneur uh, as well. So I know what it's like. Yeah. My father was a restaurateur for uh, many, many years, and that is a 24-7 job. Yeah. And so um, there's also that element of delegating, right? Yes. So I would always have to beg him. Give me an occupation. Let me help you. Because he was always of the mind, oh, I'll do it myself. I can do it myself. Right. Which, in many cases, you have to. Because no one's going to do it as good as you. Sure. Because you're going to care the most. But if you have family and friends around who do care, yes. do you recommend that people delegate That's, tasks? That was a beautiful set, set up and segue into this. Because I absolutely agree with that. You know, obviously, you want people that care as much as you do or close to as much yeah. as you do. So, you know, you're obviously a trustworthy daughter that I'm sure your father, you know, could delegate tasks to. But yeah, if, um, if you have college students coming home for the holidays, you know, maybe they're a business student. Well, engage them in the business. Yeah. You know, this is the time to, to bring them in. Maybe you have orders to ship out. Here's, a, here's another tip. Um, stock up with promotional material. Have your friends and family, as they come over for, for Thanksgiving, Christmas dinners, or, you know, holiday dinners, um, Give them pens and handouts and shirts and you know whatever your business may be, and people will ask. That's Have them stocked idea. up to, to promote you. It's almost free advertising. It absolutely is. Yeah. Or social media, you know, as they mm -hmm. stand for family pictures. You know, that's that's a great way to, to use their time wisely too. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Well, the last question yeah. I want to ask you, going back to that notebook, oh, yeah. how many of these have you filled out in your life? Oh my gosh, in my life, I don't know. Um, maybe <laughs> I would say in the last two years, probably. 15? Really? Yeah, I do. And, okay. and even preparing for this segment, yes. you know, I practiced writing it out right here and you can you can see my little handwriting there's, right there's here. There's so much we can learn from you, Catherine. <laughs> no. Thank you so oh much. Really goodness. appreciate it. So yeah. anyone wants any more information, yeah. what's the best way to get in contact with you? She's her own CEO.com. Okay. Well. I'm also on social media. Everything is at she's her own CEO. And so people contact you and you write them back and yes. interact with them? Yes, All absolutely. Right. We love social media. Yep. She wants to hear from you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We're back after this. Thank you, Catherine. Thanks, Leah. Yeah.